What is happening everyone? Welcome back to another video in my channel. So in today's video, I will show you how to do retargeting ads on Facebook ads. Just before we dive into my ads manager, I want to go over some key points. So the first one is don't use the same ads, meaning you don't want to be using the same creative, the same copy and showing that to the same people. And the reason for it is because Facebook already does that for you. So it's not like Facebook shows only one time your ad to hold audience. It's actually showing your ads multiple times when it thinks this person will convert. So Facebook knows on average how many times do we need to see an ad before we make a decision so you want to make sure you create new creative specifically for retargeting as well as your ad copy and everything else the second thing is you want to have at least one ad with a discount and the reason for it is very simple because discounts work really well and you can use some scarcity to drive people to take that action the next thing is using image ads instead of videos so usually I would never recommend to actually focus on image ads especially for conversions and e-commerce you want to be focused on video ads however after they already saw your initial videos and you use a retargeting campaign you don't have to show them the entire thing again just think about your videos as your presentation and they already saw that multiple times so there is no need to show them the entire thing again and this is where image ads comes in play and you can simply show them the exact product and focus on the offer and overall image ads are cheaper than video ads so I highly recommend to use this combo and lastly regarding the budget and how much you should be spending per day on your retargeting ads so my rule is spending 10 to 20 percent of your cold audience budget meaning if you spend a hundred bucks on cold audience on facebook then your retargeting campaign should be anywhere from 10 to 20 dollars per day max so with that being said let's dive into my ads manager and i will show you how to set up your retargeting campaign all right so let's go ahead and create our retargeting campaign so what we need to do is as always click on create and then we're simply going to select our objective whether it's sales leads whatever you always want to go with the manual setup option over here and hit continue now if you saw some of my other videos, you know that I'm using mainly ABOs, which is ad set budget optimization. But for the retargeting campaign, we'll be using actually CBO. So first, let's go ahead and name this retargeting campaign. And now we'll scroll down till it says advantage campaign budget and we'll turn this one on. Now here, as we remember, we're going to be using 10 to 20% of our total daily budget for the called audience. And then we can go ahead and hit next. All right, now on the asset level, the conversion location or conversion event, all of that, you simply set it up the same way you set up your cold audience campaign and you keep everything the same we're going to turn on the dynamic creative feature we'll hit continue in some accounts it might say flexible ad but no worry it's exactly the same thing now let's move on to budget and scheduling we're always going to schedule for the next day and the hour will be midnight all right cool now let's go to the audience control and let's click on switch to original audience and use original audience all right perfect all right and here's the kicker what you need to do here is you need to be using custom audiences i'll probably make a separate video about it but essentially we want to set up an audience that we know for a fact already saw our video ads but did not convert so for e-commerce it might be anyone that has added to cart but didn't purchase and for leads it might be anyone that visit our website but didn't convert into leads so it's really up to your business so let's go ahead and click on create new and hit custom audience now just because I don't have a lot of info on this account so I'm going to be using Facebook page so essentially I can also retarget anyone that interacted with my Facebook page as well as the Instagram account so I can do the same thing for Instagram account I can retarget people that interacted with my Instagram account people that visit my profile and stuff like that I don't have an Instagram account connected to this one so we'll stick with Facebook page and hit next so first we want to go ahead and select your page and then you want to go ahead and select your event and here you can select everyone that has engaged with your Facebook page or anyone that visited your page I usually just like to keep it on everyone who engaged with my Facebook page and then the audience retention is for the last how many days I usually like to keep it anywhere between 7 to 30 days so let's do 30 days and then the audience name will do facebook page engagement 30 days so this way i will know if this ad set will generate sales i will know that this came from the facebook page custom audience that i've created and then i will hit create audience now another important thing over here is that you can add exclusions so for example if you have an e-commerce store you want to exclude anyone that has purchased in the last three months or six months and if you are running lead ads you want to exclude anyone that has actually submitted a form so to be able to do it all you have to do is click on add exclusion and then we'll go over the process of creating a new custom audience so we'll hit create new and we'll create a new custom audience and again I don't 
don't have a pixel on this account that I can use. So I'm going to use lead form and I will hit next. And then on the events, what I will do is I will select opened and submitted form. That means that anyone that actually saw my form and submitted it, I don't want to show the ads to, but first we need to go ahead and create this custom audience. So I'll hit that over here. You can select a specific form if you want, or just select all. And then the audience retention 90 days is good enough. So we'll type in submitted form 90 days. All right. And then we'll hit create audience and hit done. Cool. So now you see it automatically added it over here. So we don't want to leave that over here. We want to go ahead and click on X and then we want to click on add exclusions and click over here. And now we're going to select this. So essentially what will happen is that Facebook will show your ads to anyone that has engaged with your Facebook page in the last 30 days, but they didn't submit any form in the last 90 days. And you can do exactly the same for e-commerce. Anyone that visited your page, anyone that added to cart, but did not purchase anything in the last 90 or 180 days. Next, the advantage custom audience, you want to make sure to turn it off because essentially Facebook will try to expand the audience. But the whole point here with retargeting is to focus on that specific audience. And we'll call this ad set Facebook page engagement. We'll do 30 days excluded by submitted form 90 days. So if this ad set will get sales and conversions, I would know that this audience worked really, really well. The next will be finishing off with our ad. So we'll call this retargeting ad one. Now over here, because we are using dynamic creative or maybe using flexible ad really depends on the accounts, but it's the same thing. You want to be uploading your images and videos. So you simply click on select images or select videos and you upload your creatives. Then in the primary text, we'll do retargeting copy one. And you want to be testing like at least two to four different copies. Here we'll do copy two. The same goes for headlines. You want to be testing anywhere from two to four headlines. So do head one, headline two, call to action, just buy now, shop shop now, book now, whatever is the call to action you use. And then if you run traffic to your website, simply putting your website link or pick the right form for your instant form uh, campaign. And that is pretty much all. That's how you do it. Now you can create multiple audiences, just like we talked before, you can create audiences based on your website events, your Instagram account events, Facebook page events, video views, whatever you would like. I will create another video about custom audiences and which ones are the best and how to go ahead and create each and one of them. But make sure to focus on everything that I I've showed you today. You can select whatever audience you feel that will work the best for you, but make sure to focus on multiple creatives, different ad copies, using a discount and everything else I've mentioned also in the beginning of the video. So hopefully you took some value out of it. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out some other videos over here. Thank you so much for watching guys and until the next one, peace.